Hello there. You must be Stacy, right? Yes, you're right. Is this Elsa? Yes, I am. It's nice to meet you. Aw, thank you, Elsa. All right, so what papers do I need to sign now? Just a moment, please. I'll bring those papers right away. You and Elsa can talk. Hey, hey, hey. I booked an appointment for today. Can you tell me where I'm supposed to go? Just a moment, ma'am. I'm going to look through the list of all the scheduled appointments to see where your name is. Oh my god, that child looks so cute. I wonder what her name is. Wait, why don't I just go and ask? Ma'am, where are you going? I still haven't found your name on the... I think you're going to be a great daughter, Elsa. I'm excited to bring you home. Oh, you're such a little cutie. What's your name? Thank you, my name is Elsa. Wow, that's such a beautiful name. I don't even need to go to that appointment. I've already found the child that I want to adopt right here. Excuse me? I'm sorry, but I'm the one that's going to adopt Elsa. I came here first, and I already discussed this with the adoption center. Elsa is taken. Well, Elsa is still here, right? That means she's not taken yet. I can still adopt her. You think I'm just going to stand here and let you steal my daughter from me? I won't let that happen. She's not your daughter yet. Keep that in mind. So adorable. We're going to have a lot of fun together, Elsa. Hey, put her down. Sorry to keep you waiting. I brought the papers. You just have to sign. <gasps> um, sorry, who are you? Oh, I'm Kylie. I want to adopt Elsa. Didn't you hear what I said? Elsa is taken. She's getting adopted by me. Can you explain this to her? Well, Elsa technically hasn't been adopted yet. You still haven't signed the papers. So she can still get adopted by anyone that wishes to adopt her. Haha, <laughs> in your face. All right, where do I need to sign to adopt Elsa? Are you serious? I've been talking to this adoption center for several days. Now wanting to adopt Elsa. You can't just let some random person come in at the last minute and snatch her away from me. I'm sorry, but we also warned you that if you weren't quick, someone else might be interested in her. Since you haven't signed the papers, Elsa can be adopted by anyone. Great, now what? Is that even a question? Elsa is coming with me, and that's that. Well, this isn't the first time we've faced a conflict like this. If two or more parents want to adopt the same child, the child can choose to spend a day with each parent and decide who they want to adopt them. Elsa, would you be willing to do that or do you want to choose right now? That sounds like a good idea. Well, she's coming with me first, since I came here first. And who are you to decide that? Calm down, please. I think it's fair we'll let Stacy take Elsa first. I believe you do not have an appointment here, right, Kylie? Well, I do, but I don't need it anymore. I've already decided that I'm gonna adopt Elsa. Stacy came here first with an appointment first, though, so it's only fair that she takes Elsa first. Hear that? That's right. I'll take her first. Now get out of my sight. Come on, Elsa. What's her problem? Like, why is she so rude? Well, I don't have to worry too much. There's no way else is gonna choose someone like that over me. That's for sure. Welcome home, Elsa. How do you like the house? Wow, the house is so big and pretty. I love it already. I'm glad to hear that. Make yourself at home. Is there anything you want to do? Do you have any toys that I can play with? I love playing with toys. Sure, I have lots of toys you can play with. Let me take you to them. Toys are amazing! Thank you so much, Mom. You're welcome. You can continue playing. I have some work to do. Wait, Mom, aren't you going to play with me? 
I'm sorry, but like I said, I have a lot of work to do. I can't play with you right now. I hope you have fun playing with the toys. It would have been much better if she played with me too. Oh well, she must be a busy woman. It's fine. Oh my God, Elsa, what have you done? What do you mean, what happened? Look at the mess you've made. You misplaced all the toys and you even put scratches on the walls. What sort of behavior is this? I'm sorry, Mom, I really didn't mean to. I was just having a lot of fun. This is unacceptable. You can have all the fun you want, but you absolutely cannot ruin the walls and appearance of my house. Is that understood? Yes, Mom, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. As a punishment, you won't be able to play with those toys for the rest of the day. But, Mom, I said I'm... No ifs or buts. My decision is final. Also, lunch is waiting for you downstairs. I didn't do it on purpose. It was just an accident. Now I can't play with all the toys at all. I was having so much fun. Hey mom, is there any other food to eat? I'm really hungry. These vegetables and fruits won't be enough to make me full. There is more food, but I won't let you eat it because it's unhealthy. I can't let you eat too much unhealthy food. But mom, I'm extremely hungry. I usually eat healthy food. I only eat unhealthy food sometimes. It doesn't matter. I'm not letting you eat junk food. This is the only type of food you'll get. So you're going to have to get used to it. Seriously? I have to eat this every day. It doesn't even taste that good. Well, what are you waiting for? Finish your plate. Don't leave any vegetables out. You have to finish all of it. I'm done eating my food, Mom. Well done. Now wash your plate and utensils and put them in those baskets in the kitchen. I have to wash them? Of course you do. You have to do your own chores around here, Elsa. But I do not know how to do chores. Then learn how to do them. The only way you're going to learn is by doing them. Elsa, just go in the kitchen and wash them. Can you please help me a little? I've never done any chores in the past. I really don't know how to do them. Fine. I'm not going to do the chores for you. I'm only going to tell you how to do them. You still have to do them yourself. All right, Mom. You're finally done with the chores. Huh, took you long enough. I promise to do them quick next time, Mom. That's good. You can do whatever you want now, since you're done with your chores. Does that mean I can play with my toys? No, you can't. You can't do anything except play with your toys. Mom, I'm truly sorry. I didn't mean to ruin the walls of the house. It was only a mistake. And you're going to keep making that mistake if you continue playing with your toys. I can't let that happen. I'm only saying this one more time. You cannot play with your toys. All right. All right, Elsa, stop reading your book. It's time to sleep. Sleep? But mom, it's only 8 p.m. It's too early to go to sleep right now. I always go to sleep at this time, and so will you. You have to wake up early tomorrow too, so it's best that you sleep early and get enough hours of sleep. Why do I have to wake up early tomorrow? Uh, because that's how it works in this house. 
Now don't ask me any more questions. Close that book and go to bed. Now. <laughs> Why is mom so strict? I know she cares about my health, but she's just being too strict with me. It's going to be really difficult to fall asleep this early. Welcome back, Stacy and Elsa. I hope you both had a good time yesterday. Elsa is a wonderful daughter, so yes, we did have a great time. Of course, there are some things about her that could be better, but we can improve them together once I adopt her for real. That's great to hear. All right, Elsa, you will now be staying with Kylie for the rest of the day. When you come back tomorrow, you can tell us who you liked more. Elsa, there you are. I missed you so much. You both will be spending the rest of the day together. I hope you have fun. Welcome home, Elsa. Do you like the house? This house is much smaller than the one I was in yesterday. It's not too small though, so I still like it. Yes, I do, Mom. It's a great house. Yes, that's awesome. Okay, so what do you want to do? Do you have toys that I can play with? Of course I do. I have a bunch of them upstairs. You can play with them for as long as you want. I can play with you too if you want. Oh, really? You're going to play with me too? Of course I am. It's more fun when you're playing with someone else, right? Thank you so much. Yes, it definitely is. I must say, you are very good at playing with toys. I'm having a lot of fun right now. I'm having a lot of fun too. I want to keep playing like this. Sure, we can play for as long as you want. But we'll need to have a lunch break. I don't want you to stay hungry for the rest of the day. That's fine. Okay, it's lunchtime. Let's take a break now. Oh, but I was having so much fun. Don't worry, we can continue playing as soon as we're done eating lunch. Yay! All right. What do you want to eat? I'm in the mood for something extremely tasty. Do you have some ice cream? Yes, I do. But that's only dessert. What do you want for your actual lunch? Can I have a chicken sandwich? Of course you can. I'll make one right away. Really? Thank you so much. All right. The sandwich is ready. You can eat it now. Wow, this tastes so good. I love it. That's great to hear. Let me know when you're done with the sandwich. And then I can give you some ice cream too. You're such a fun mom. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll put the ice cream here on the table. You can eat it once you're done with the sandwich. I enjoyed the lunch a lot, mom. That makes me very happy. Do you want to continue playing with the toys now? Or do you want to do something else? I want to play with toys. All right, all right, we're going to do just that. Let's go upstairs. Oh wow, it's already 9 p.m. We've been playing with toys for quite a while now, huh? I'm sorry if I distracted you from work. It's fine if you're busy. You've already played so much with me. Hey, what are you talking about? There's no need to be sorry about anything. I was just having so much fun with you that I lost track of time. But we should really sleep soon. I want you to get enough hours of sleep. We'll play for one more hour and then we'll go to sleep. Is that fine? All right, Mom. It's 10 p.m. now. We should sleep. Aw, can we just play for a few more minutes? I would love to, but sleep is extremely important for your health. <laughs> 
Elsa, I don't want you to stay up too late. We should sleep now. I understand. Wow, today was an extremely fun day. Mom is so much fun to be around. I wonder who I'm gonna pick. Welcome back. Did you have a good time together? We most certainly did. Yesterday was a lot of fun. Good. She's never going to see you again though. I'm going to adopt her. Well, that's up for Elsa to decide. Elsa, have you decided who you want to be adopted by? I have, yes. All right, let us know. I enjoyed my time with both of you. Stacy really cared for me a lot. She wanted me to eat healthy food and sleep at the right time. I was a little sad that I couldn't eat anything tasty or stay up a bit later, but it was important for my health. But I think she was too strict. I only made one mistake, and she didn't let me play with toys for the rest of the day because of it. It's fine to eat unhealthy food sometimes, but she didn't want me to eat it at all. Also, she didn't spend much time with me. I was alone for most of the day, but Kylie played with me for the entire day. I want Kylie to become my mom. Seriously? Come on, this can't be happening. I was here first. She is mine to adopt. I'm sorry, ma'am, but we all agreed that Elsa would make the final decision. If she wants to stay with Kylie, then Kylie will adopt her. There are many other children here that you can adopt. You know what? Forget it. I'm going to find a better adoption center. I've wasted enough of my time here. You can now adopt Elsa. All you have to do is sign these papers. Congratulations to both of you. Yay, yes, yes. I finally have a mom. And I finally have a loving and fun daughter. We are gonna have a very good time living together.